by looking at the leadership that we've produced in Africa, our leaders in Africa, I feel like my opinion. This is Infant Man Girls. When I showed up here, somebody alerted me that you are part of the girls. Like you've you've submitted a proposal that you you want to be a head girl of this world. I think there are eight of you. I found you. Now, what is your name? Najikai. Najikai. Now, I want to find out from you uh, in terms of leadership. What 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 would you say is the ultimate characteristic of a leader, like a good leader? If you see this in a person, it means this person is a leader that it should be. Um, do you mean like a lead, leader, a leader in general, or a school leader? Okay. So let's say let's say leadership in general. For me, from what I've learned, from what I've noticed, and um, looking back at the lives of the leaders we've had in Africa, looking back at Kwame Nkrumah, Nelson Mandela, and um, Stephen Biko, Julius Nyerere, they have something in common. They have a track record. Those people have track record. They have a track record. They they were willing to put their lives down for what they believed in. They sacrificed themselves willingly, wholeheartedly, for what they, the change they wanted to see. I feel like a good leader has that, has a good leader is someone who has built that capacity to die, capacity to sacrifice himself or herself for what they believe in. Sir, when somebody, wait, so this is, when, when a person builds the capacity to die, that's what you consider as, why is it like that? Because um, looking looking at leadership, there are so many, when you get to the top, when you get to that position, there are so many temptations, so many things that try to derail you from your course. But then, and anything can anything can lead you to, like, fall. Sometimes you want to go right, and but, they say, go left. Yeah. Sometimes you want to go left, and the people around you say, go right. But a good leader, a leader with a, who has built the capacity to die, it has has his mind made up, has his mind made up, and isn't easily moved by these things. So it should be extremely difficult or practically impossible. So death do us apart. So death do us apart. Yes, to get to get somebody who has built the capacity to die to do the wrong thing to move away from his course. And usually, it's a good course. So, by looking at the leadership that we've produced in Africa, our leaders in Africa, I feel like in my opinion. I feel like they've not built the capacity die they don't realize that what we enjoy as africans is what our forefathers practically shed they they shed their blood for they sacrifice for us and they've not realized they don't notice that they have to make that same sacrifice for prosperity <laughs> so um, amazing I feel, like, I feel like in my opinion the ultimate the number one the ultimate um, characteristic of a good leader wow. is someone who has built the capacity to die for his cause for what he believes in. So if a person has not built the capacity to die, what does that make the person? That person is not fit to be a leader. person is not fit to be a leader. Ooh,